Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of Theme Park News. In today's episode, we've got the Muppets coming to Epcot, Corn Dogs are coming to Disney, and we have an update from Carowinds on the Fury 325 roller coaster that's cracked. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. If you are new here, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button. I post these theme park news videos every other day, followed by cruise news in the opposite days, on top of all of our vlogging videos. So make sure you like you uh, are subscribed to the channel, you like this video, and you comment down below. Let me know what you thought about any of these uh, news stories in today's episode of Theme Park News. We've got three stories for today, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, the first news story comes from Disney, and we're going to be talking about corn dogs. That's right, corn dogs are coming to Disney. Uh, it's actually going to be the blue ribbon corn dogs that they actually sell at Disneyland at the uh, the uh, Downtown Disney. That's what it's called, Downtown Disney. I always get that confused now with the Disney Springs here, since it used to be the same thing. The uh, corn dogs, blue ribbon corn dogs, coming from Disneyland's uh, Downtown Disney is actually now going to be in Florida. It's going to be at the Disney boardwalk resort actually right there on the boardwalk it's going to be open up a blue ribbon corn dog stand so if you're a fan of corn dogs then i mean let's be honest who doesn't love a good corn dog you'll soon be able to pick that up if you uh, go over to uh, disney's boardwalk resorts all right it was also announced for disney at the epcop in epcop epcot international food and wine festival the Muppets Lab is going to be coming. Uh, that is going to be Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker, seen here, are going to be at uh, the International Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. It's going to be, uh, they're going to be bringing the Muppet Labs there. Uh, this is going to be at the uh, Brewing at the Odyssey. You'll be able to uh, sample some of the Muppet Labs concoctions. Uh, some of those include the unnecessarily spicy yet extremely tasty uh, Scotch Bonnet Pepper Curry Wings. Have fun ordering that one there. Or they also have a pickle milkshake, among other things. Uh, I, I got to tell you, pickle milkshake, I, I, it may taste the best, but that wording right there does not sound appetizing whatsoever. I think I will definitely be passing on the pickle milkshake. But if that's something you're into, you'll be able to pick this up at the uh, Muppet Labs at Epcot. Uh, the International Wine, uh, uh, Food and Wine Festival at Epcot that runs from uh, the 27th of July, so just in a few more weeks, all the way through November 18th. The International Food and Wine Festival at Disney. So if you want to see Muppet Labs, make sure you check that out. All right, and we got an update from Carowinds about the Fury 325. If you saw the previous video or you've watched any of the news, uh, you may have seen the uh, Fur uh, Fury 325 roller coaster, the big crack that's going on with that one. No, not that crack, the other crack. Yeah, that's the crack. Okay, the Fury 325, the big old crack that somebody spotted from the parking lot. Uh, there is an update on that one. The manufacturer, this is, this is coming from Carowinds Resort or, or Theme Park themselves. The ride manufacturer Bollinger and Mabillard Consulting Engineers. I like how the uh, theme park made sure to mention them by name in case something else goes wrong. I think they want to make sure you know that that's who made the roller coaster was the old Ma Mabillard, uh, Bollinger and Mabillard Consulting Engineers. Uh, but anyway, they, they had their uh, team of people out there inspecting. They said they inspected the entire track, the entire ride, didn't find any other damage, at least not that they said. Uh, so what's going to happen is they're actually that beam, that uh, support beam that they have the crack on. They said they're actually going to be replacing that support beam. It's currently being made right now. They said it should be installed or they're going to be bringing it next week. It'll be ready to be installed. Uh, they're going to go ahead and install it. Then uh, once they've installed the beam, I said they then have a series of tests that they're going to do before they actually open the ride back up. Uh, that includes an acceleration test. They're going to do that. Then they will operate the ride for at least 500 cycles. So they'll let the coaster go at least 500 times. Once they've done that, checked everything out, and they're satisfied, they then said they will get a third-party inspector to come in, check everything themselves, and then once all of that is taken care of and everything's kind of got the, uh, you know, the A-OK, -okay, then they will open the ride back up to the general public. Um, I would imagine, you know, like I said, the support beam is coming next week. I would imagine replacing a giant support beam uh, is not something that's going to be a real quick fix. Something tells me this ride's probably going to be down um, for a, a significant amount of time. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much. I've never installed any support beams myself, but I can imagine that's quite the process. And then you've got to go through all of the, you know, the the uh, testing and all that by them and then the third party so i wouldn't expect this ride to be open anytime soon but obviously 
better to be safe than sorry. You want to make sure they go through all this because that's a tall roller coaster. And if you're ever going to f fall off one, even that one that happened uh, the, the other week, that, that wasn't very tall and, and people died on that. If you're that high, bad things are happening if you don't get that fixed properly. So at least they're going through the whole process. Hopefully uh, they'll be able to get all that taken care of. And then Fury 325 will be back up and running uh, as soon as possible. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for another episode of Theme Park News. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about all these news stories. And then let me ask you a question. If you're a fan of the Fury 325 and they do all these tests and, hey, the ride's good to go. We're opening it tomorrow. Would you be the first person in line to ride that ride after it reopens? Or would you be waiting a little bit longer? Let me know in the comments down below if, if you would be the first one to hop back on that sucker. And give it the old first test ride for real people. Uh, and as always, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I uh, will see y'all in the next video.